I'm Max Sterling. Welcome to LARPgasm. Here we are on the first day of 2018. And have you found that over the last year you've grown slow and fat in your dotage? Slug? Well, I think a lot of us have. And, um, you know, this video, there's no easy way to put it. And some people may be offended or triggered. And, you know, you can turn it off if you want to. But the information you know, I'm going to present to you, it's real. And I hope that I can encourage some people to sort of come along on this journey, this transformation with me. So if you find that over the last year or maybe even over the last five or ten years that you are missing a step, maybe uh, you've put on a few pounds, whatever the case may be, then this video is for you. Um, I'm not going to try to make excuses, but... You know, I'm, I'm a lot bigger than I should be. And uh, in fact, I'm about twice the man I was 10 years ago, which is, uh, you know, a, a startling revelation to me. And, and, I, and I don't like the fact that I carry so much weight. Um, I'm not a bigger guy by nature. You may think, oh, well, Max, you're probably just a bigger dude. But I'm not a bigger dude. When I was a kid, I was thin. I was so thin. I remember being in a play when I was younger and I was so thin they had to stuff pillows into my costume because I was playing Santa Claus to make me look fat. So I'm not a big person by nature. I'm not big boned. My mother and father, uh, when they got married, my dad wore a size 28 pant and my mom, she's like five foot tall. I think she probably weighed about 85 or 90 pounds. People in my family are not big. So by nature, I am not a big person, but yet here I am, a huge guy. And, uh, you know, it shouldn't be that way. And I think society tells us to, you know, love ourselves and live our lives and not worry about what other people say. And, and that's fine. I don't think that you should change yourself for society. However, you can love yourself in your own skin all the way to your first heart attack or all the way into diabetes type 2 and they cut off one of your feet you know there's health reasons to lose the weight if you can't walk up a flight of stairs you go to a LARP you can't walk across the field you can't fight for more than 30 seconds in prolonged combat that's a problem okay and uh you're sort of the people I'm speaking to. And it's not just people who are really big. It's a lot of people who are just, you know, slightly big. Some people that aren't even big at all. It's just that they're unhealthy. And uh, this needs to be the year that we get healthy, whatever, you know, that is for you. But I'm going to speak mostly to us folks that are, you know, a little bit overweight or maybe a lot overweight. Um, I know at at least one of the games I go to, when we have big fights, they will call holds maybe every few minutes just to let people catch their breath well I don't think you should have to catch your breath after fighting for a few minutes uh, you know if you can't you know do a little sword fighting with foam swords for you know more than a minute or two without getting winded that's not healthy okay not healthy at all um, I actually even despite my size I'm probably one of the faster and uh, have the most endurance you know at some of these LARPs I go to and that's pretty messed up like I should not be able to outfight outrun or out sprint people half my age and half my weight yet I can still do this and I don't know if smoking is a factor or you know if they're just really unhealthy or what the scenario may be but at any given LARP scenario you know I shouldn't be running down you know 17 year old kids you know, the way a buck fifty, you know, that, that shouldn't happen. They should be able to burn me, and it doesn't happen, though. Um, as far as the fighting, you know, I do get winded, but there's people there that are, you know, 30 seconds into swinging, and, and they're dying in real life because they can't continue to swing their weapons. And it's just, you know, I want to fight you, and I want to win, but I don't want you to run out of breath and hyperventilate on the field. I want to beat you in fair combat, you know, and, and get my hits in on you and have you fall down in character, not in real life. So, I think enough preaching to that. You get the point. This is the year we're going to do something about it. I'm making this video for myself as well as you. I need to be held accountable. This video will hold me accountable. If you feel like you need to be held accountable, then maybe you should make a video for yourself or you know, come up with some sort of plan. 
Now, when I said I didn't know how I wanted to approach this video, you know, I have made videos in the past, not for this channel, but you know, on how to lose weight and do stuff and how to work out. I've detailed meal plans and stuff. And what I find is that basically you can lead a horse to water, right? But you can't make them drink. And that and that's all there is to it. So I'm not gonna give you a meal plan, I'm not gonna give you a workout schedule, I'm not gonna tell you this or that or anything. I'm just gonna tell you that this is the year that we need to change. And if you're not motivated yourself to try to figure out a diet, to try to go to a gym, get a trainer, look on YouTube, find videos of workouts. I mean, there's tons of workout videos online for free. I mean, just look them up. You can do them on your lunch break before or after work. It's not that hard to do. Maybe like 30 minutes a day of cardio, that's a good start. Stop drinking, you know, pop, soda, cola, whatever it is, wherever you're from, just cut it completely out of your diet. At the end of the day, you gotta cut calories and you gotta get active. That's all there is to it. And your body will change over time. And I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, who the hell am I to tell you what to do? You know, I'm some fat chode sitting here. Well, you know, I do have a master's degree in exercise, believe it or not. And that actually really hurts me deep down inside. 10 years ago, I was a personal trainer. You know, I worked at a gym training people. Um, I had some things happen in my life and, uh, you know, things change. Uh, I took a uh, job where I just sat behind a desk for basically eight years and uh, couldn't get up, couldn't move, literally just sat in a chair for eight to ten hours a day, came home, played video games for five hours, and then went to bed and then just ate you know, whatever I wanted to in between. Um, you know, I did go to the gym when I was able to, um, but, you know, it wasn't enough. And sure enough, it came on slow, you know, and over the course of a decade, it only takes, you know, maybe 10 pounds a year to pack on there. You don't notice it while it's happening because it's only maybe a pound a month. But when you get to the 10 year mark and you look back 100 pounds ago, well, guess what? You know, you're already at your destination and you can see where that train's going because if I don't uh, reverse things here 10 years forward from now, that could be another 100 pounds. And maybe at that point, I will have some physical issues. Maybe I won't be able to run faster than people. Maybe I won't be able to fight. You know, maybe I'll have diabetes. Maybe I'll have a heart attack. And uh, I'm not, you know, none of that interests me. It shouldn't interest you either. So, so we're going to fix this shit. I rise I've been rambling on for a long time here, so now we're going to get to the motivational part. I want you to come back to this video anytime that you feel that you're losing or that you have excuses or that you're not motivated to keep with this. I want you to remember that I'm out there every day doing this. I'm out there winning, okay? I have goals. I'm going to meet them this year, and it's going to happen. And I want you along for the ride. If you want to come along, I'm not trying to say that anyone should do anything. If you're happy with how you are, that's fine. But if you're unhealthy, you should really consider trying to do something about it. If you want to be better at LARPing, this is a way to do it. Because the faster you are in real life, the stronger you are in real life, the more endurance you have in real life, the better your character is going to be in that game. Now, if you're playing a character where you're supposed to be slow and old or something, well then, you know, you don't want to spoil the character. But if you're playing a kick-ass fighter, or a really awesome rogue, the better you are in real life, the better you're going to portray that character in game. Trust me, if you can run across the field and fight prolonged for five, six minutes, you're gonna be a huge asset, especially if other people at your game are not working out and they're not fit, okay? So we're gonna do this for ourselves, but we're also gonna do this for our LARP, which may sound stupid, but you take whatever motivation you need. So let's get fired up. I'm gonna show, some, show you some clips of me working out, uh, show you some clips of me doing some pretty awesome stuff. And these videos aren't from too long ago, um, so keep that in mind. But this is the point I wanna get back to ASAP, and 2018 is gonna be the year. When I do my year-end review next year, I'm gonna look like a totally different person, and uh, it's gonna be for the better. Now, I'm not doing it for anyone else, I'm doing it for me. I'm doing it so I can be healthy, and I can be around for a long time. So please join me and uh, you know, let's make 2018 a great year 
a year of transformation, and a year that we better ourselves. This is 2018. This is the year of the Great War. This is the year that we won. said that you were going to do. There's no more excuses. This is the year that you win. This is the year that you win. This is the year that I win. You come back to this video and you watch it every time you lose motivation. you the best of luck in 2018 this is going to be the year that we win and uh, as always please subscribe like this video stay tuned for a video at the end of the year showing the results that I have and uh, of course as always adventure on day one starting weight That's how many hit points this dragon has, and I'm going to take him out. 